goes to the third and three. Perez tries to sneak out, keeps his eyes downfield, end zone, touchdown, Arlington. Quarterback Perez making plays. Still in the backfield, Perez takes a shot downfield with the win, has Peyton wide open. How about Arlington? 58 yards. Great throw by Perez. Perez continues to deal, takes a shot, has a receiver, caught, touchdown to Arlington. You saw him balling out on the field, and now you see him on the big screen. We welcome in Luis Perez, and the party just keeps getting better, Fitz, because this man has been a journeyman your entire career. Just to be honest, we love how you came up from learning how to play quarterback on YouTube and then going from the Vipers to Arlington. You have literally been the result of one of the best trades in the XFL, but it can't be easy to go from one team to another. They were averaging 13 points per game before you got there, and ever since you came, now it's 20 per game. How's that transition been like? Yeah, it's been a whirlwind, right, from getting traded to coming out here, learning a new system, you know, gaining the trust of the coaches and the players. It's been fun, though. Um, I've embraced this journey, and shoot, we're just we're just getting started. How different is it? Because we're used to the concept of trades, but trades usually mean you go to a total different city and a total different team. You guys train in one hub. So how weird is it to be traded but then still see everybody all the time? Yeah, so the trade, you know, it was a 20-minute Uber to get to the, the Sheraton <laughs> Hotel. But, um, no, nah, it's been great, though. Uh, I'm, I'm forever grateful, you know, for Rick and Coach Stoops to – you know, make that trade and believe in me and shoot. Uh, as you can see, our offense has been getting better and better every week. And, you know, hopefully we keep that trend going. Another thing that I've witnessed just from the live mics is the way that you've kind of taken up this leadership role. How has that been from you? And how have you relied on your past experience to help you just automatically accept that? Yeah, so I've been in a part of all these leagues. You know, I've been in the AAF, I've been in the Spring League, been in the USFL, been in the first XFL, and now here. You know, it's kind of the same deal, right? You have to gain the trust of your teammates and your coaches pretty quickly, right? Usually you get about three or four weeks of practice, and then now you're playing games, right? This situation was a little different because I had to gain the trust of these guys in four or five days, you know, knowing I was going to go out there and play. But, no, the transition has been really good. Um, you know, from, from when I first got here, the coaches did a phenomenal job putting me in position to succeed, you know, putting plays that I was comfortable with and, and slowly kind of easing me into the offense. Um, and as you can see, like I said, you know, just – that trend just keeps going up. Well, with that trend going up, the passing yardage has also gone up. It's up over 100 yards a game since you joined the team. That means a lot of people have to gel. How difficult has it been in this season to gel with your receivers and get that level of productivity? Yeah, I think it's just those guys gaining the trust in me and vice versa with me, right? And I think, you know, all the work that these guys put in off the field, you know, I think the biggest emphasis I try to bring when I got here was, hey, yeah, we have practice times, but we still got to meet, you know, later at the hotel. We have to meet after practice. We got to do all these things to get on the same page because, again, I've only been here, you know, four and a half weeks or so. One strength about your team is the defense. You have forced a turnover in every single game. How much does that help the offense and make you feel comfortable every time you step on the field? Yeah, no, our defense has been tremendous all year. Uh, and yeah, you know, it starts with, with Coach Lewis and Coach Hayes, you know, and, and I mean, it trickles down. You can see, you know, the level of intensity these guys bring. And we have a lot of veteran guys on defense and, you know, it shows up. These guys are hungry. These guys are, you know, ready to play. And you can tell, man, that we're, we're, we're so close to making plays on every single one. And like you said, every single game we've had a turnover. So it's definitely helped the offense. I mean, let's have a real moment, though. Y'all got some disrespect going into the playoffs, right? There was a lot of conversation about the XFL playoff system for you guys. How did that feed your locker room going into the semifinal game? You just – you can't entertain stuff like that. You know, if you look at the NFL, the NFL is the same way, right? And, and I think all of us in here – really believed and i think that's what really got us through last week is you know who cares about all the noise all these guys saying hey we shouldn't be in our record this and that we know what we're capable of and we believe and you know when we believe in all 11 do the right thing on both sides of the football that's what you know the result is what happened last week yeah we love to see it coach stoop said it right there all it takes is a puncher's chance and you guys definitely had a chance it's gonna be fun to watch you but in our research while we were prepping for this interview we learned something about you, Luis. You're a bowling legend. Uh, is, is, now, as I've addressed that, 
we want to know a little bit of something about how that passion came to be and uh, how you became that bowling legend. Yeah, so the, the really the first time I really got exposed to it was it was my dad's birthday. I was about 10 or 11 years old and we went out and, you know, we just started bowling for his birthday. And my dad, you know, was a pretty good bowler himself. And, you know, I did pretty well. You know, I, I beat everybody and I just I really enjoyed it. And then, you know, from that time, it went to going every weekend. And then from there it was, hey, let me get my shoes. Let me get my own ball. Let me join the league, you know, and it just kept kept escalating like that. And then, you know, sooner or later, I just I took love for it and I just, you know, I was in the bowling alley six, seven times a week, bowling, you know, four or five games a day and, you know, shoot, I, I was I was getting after it. Uh, give us the real, don't be humble here for a second. How many perfect games are we talking? Like, what, what, what's what's a, what's a run look like for you? <laughs> Twelve perfect games. Twelve? Well, he, knew, he knew it off rip. He knew it right <laughs> off the top. Is that Joey G, I know you're over there monitoring everything. What, what you got for him? Luis, you famously gave up your professional bowling career to pursue quarterbacking through YouTube, which means you got to be a junkie. Although your page says you haven't posted a video in eight years, <laughs> what is like your guilty YouTube obsession? Is there a channel? Is there some sort of content that you just find yourself in wormholes in? You know, not really. Taylor I Swift? I don't really have a channel. Uh, there's Coco really no Mellon? channel. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I love watching highlights of like former players like Peyton Manning, Brady, Breeze, Rogers. I love I love watching stuff like that. NFL films. Um, and occasionally you you will catch myself looking at old uh, you know Pete Weber against Norm Duke, you know showdowns and stuff like that. But really, I use YouTube as like more educational, you know, versus more like recreational. If that makes sense. Man, and we appreciate it. We love your story. Like Scooby said, it's been fun to watch you do this thing and really cool to see the trade turn out to be so beneficial for you and for your team. Best of luck in the game. Uh, we wish you luck moving forward. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, guys.